Okay, one of the questions that I've been getting is the difference between T25 and this 30 minute workout. And there's major differences. T25 is a lot more like a, like a choreographed, um, I would call it light cardio compared to this. Now don't get me wrong, T25, I love T25 and I get a good workout when I do T25. And many times I have muscles that are burning uh, when I'm done with T25. One of the main differences is a lot of T25, you have weights in your hands. Um, with this workout, you never have weights in your hands. So that's a major difference between T25 and Insanity Max. They are, the T25 is only 25 minutes every single workout. This one is 30 minutes long. But this one really uh, never stops, neither does T25 for that matter, but it's uh, not that same intense cardio that you're going to get um, with this Insanity Max 30. So um, if, if you're looking for more of a beginner uh, a place to start, T25 would probably be that workout. That doesn't mean that you can't do Insanity Max as a beginner because they do have the modifier version. So you can take that into consideration. If you're strictly looking to lose weight, you may want to consider Insanity Max and do the modifications. If you're looking to lose weight and tone at the same time um, with some weight training, then you would want to do T25. But this is going to get you toned as well. I mean, you're using your own body weight uh, in Insanity Max, uh, and those body weight exercises are fantastic for you. And I believe you're a lot less likely to get injured using your own body weight. And then what is the difference between Insanity Max and like Insanity? Um, there's not a whole lot of difference as far as the, the idea behind them is strictly cardio. But uh, I would say that this Insanity Max, if you're doing the regular version of it, is even more intense than your regular Insanity. Now, the Insanity Max is only 30 minutes. Insanity uh, itself, the first month is anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. And then the second month you're looking at uh, 55 to one hour, uh, 55 minutes to 60 minute workout. So th that's the major difference. And with Insanity, uh, you're kind of moving around a, a little bit more than you are with this one. This one kind of, you kind of stay in your little box there and it's a lot of jumping jacks and a lot of, a lot of foot movement and a lot of push ups and things like that where with insanity you're kind of running back and forth side to side up and down all kinds of different things but i would say either one of these workouts insanity max or insanity if you're looking to drop some weight you're looking to get a great cardio workout either one of them is going to work just just as well and uh, of course we're all high on insanity max right now because it's brand new and it just came out i will say that doing it full out i can get through the insanity workouts a whole lot easier than I can get through these workouts so far. Um, I remember when I first started insanity, I had some of the same issues. So it may be just getting your body used to these movements and used to these new movements because there's 150 brand new moves in the insanity max that he's never put in any of his other DVDs. So that may be a portion of it and that's something we'll be able to uh, hold out and find out as, as time goes on if maybe the body just needs to get used to the movements and then you'll be able to do this a little bit easier and then maybe the review will change a little bit. So take that into consideration. And then a lot of people ask, well, what about his Insanity Asylum? Insanity Asylum, one of my favorites, is cardio, weight training, agility training, athletic training. It's an awesome program. If you've never looked into that, you may want to take a look at that someday. It's not overly expensive. I think you can get uh, Asylum 2 for right around $59, 60 something like that. And, and uh, you just need an agility ladder. Uh, if you buy Insanity Asylum 1, the agility ladder comes with it. You can also just buy the agility ladder off the Beachbody website as well. And uh, it, it really helps if you're a soccer player, if you're a basketball player, or a football player. Helps with all those, the, the quick foot movement and all those kind of things. And then you're going to get a little bit of weight training and uh, you're going to do tons of push-ups and tons of upper body workouts. All of his programs though are designed not to put on a bunch of mass, but to really get that beach body that you're looking for. So ladies, you're looking for next summer and walking out on the beach in a bikini and all those kind of things, this would be a great program. Any of these, T25, Insanity Asylum, uh, Insanity Max, Insanity, any of uh, Sean T's workouts are going to be fantastic for that. Uh, guys, same thing. You're looking for that washboard, those washboard abs, uh, the six-pack. 
uh, nice cut arms and all those kind of things, then these are the programs that you're going to want to do. Uh, the only other program that I would suggest that would rival some of these as far as kind of getting that beach body look would be P90X2. Um, P90X2 is fantastic for that lean, uh, athletic look, and that was what it was designed for. So, just to give you a, a kind of a comparison between some of the programs, that's just a, an idea uh, of what they might be. If you have questions concerning some of the programs, just ask them in the comments section and I can uh, give you some insight on those, or Casey can give you some insight on those, whether you're a female or a male and want a different perspective, we can give you different ideas on what program to pick out. So. That's just some of the differences, questions we've been, being, uh, we've been asked quite a bit about those that are already doing T25 and what's different, what, what, what should I be looking for if I get that. So those are some of the differences. Talk to you later.